what that is going to do is that's going to lower oil and gas investment in our country. And when you lower that oil and gas investment, that means that you're going to have a lot higher oil and gas prices going into the future. So perversely, I think what the NDP are trying to do is actually going to make energy more unaffordable in this country. And I find it ironic because this is exactly what they've been wanting to do for the last, well, over seven years. They've wanted to make energy unaffordable so that people would move over to more renewable energy sources. But I think what what we're finding is, is that these renewable energy sources are not currently capable of meeting the needs of a modern industrialized nation. And I don't think they're gonna be capable of replacing oil for a number of decades. And so while we're doing this right now, we should be trying to work with the oil companies to make every barrel the cleanest barrel Mm -hmm. possible, not being punitive with these companies uh, by you know going after them and trying to tax them more, which is only going to lead to higher prices at the pumps. Well, conservatives are always talking about the energy portfolio. It's not an either or situation. We want to have an abundance of energy. So we look at all available sources and the market helps to decide this and, and, and a whole bunch of other things. But, uh, you know, conservatives aren't against renewable energy, but it, we're not against shutting down the oil and gas sector and only putting all our eggs in one basket because that basket isn't prepared to deal with the, the supply that's needed in terms of electric vehicles, batteries, you name it, that, that we'll need to make this work. Well, I mean, and you got to look at what companies are the ones that are investing the most in renewable energy. You're looking at companies like Suncor, like mm-hmm, Enbridge, right. like British Petroleum. These are the companies that are investing in things like biofuels, windmills, solar panels, cogeneration at their facilities. I mean, these are the technologies, carbon capture and sequestration. These are the technologies uh, that are going to enable us to decarbonize our economy uh, at a rapid rate. And so going after these companies punitively is is only going to set back the cause of renewable energy, which, of course, the conservatives support developing more renewable energy.